Hey guys, it's Becky. I am back with another process video. Today I'm doing layout number one from Mini Kit Mondays, November 2018. Go ahead and check out the other ladies. Tracy, Kathy, and Dolly are all doing it this month, but I'm going to link um, Daisy and Jojo down below. I think Daisy had a video up, so welcome back, Daisy. I don't think she did it for Mini Kit Mondays, but still, it was nice to hear her voice on the YouTubes. So hop over and check those ladies out. Right here, I'm gonna go ahead and start just trimming up some papers. I kind of wanted to just keep this with the aqua and the peach. So on this piece right here, I did trim off the pink and the purple. Later, I'm gonna go ahead and pull in a stripe that is going to have pink on it. So this, this layout will have pink on it. <laughs> But here I am just going to go ahead and start trimming up the papers. When I put the scraps in my kit, they were just all gnarled up. You know, some of them had pieces cut out of them or whatnot. So I just went ahead and cut them with straight lines. You can see up in the top right hand corner, that is the sketch I'm going to be using. That's a sketch that I had made. Um, it's sitting over on my blog that is nothing but uh, pictures, I think. I actually haven't been over and looked at it. <laughs> But it is over there if you want to hop over and pick it up. Um, it's for it's free. It's just sitting on there. You just click save as and you can save it. On this particular day, I was being so weird about these layers. I kind of change them up quite a bit. I played with them a lot. And I am going to cut a lot of that out because it was just painful. You saw right there, I went ahead and trimmed off a piece of that photo. It was just the back side of Bailey. She's sitting there looking at Riley. I, I stuck pretty true to this sketch mostly. What I really wanted to pull off of this sketch was that little banner bit down there at the bottom. And I'm going to pull out my die cutting machine. Um my big shot to go ahead and make something that is resembles that banner right here I am just backing my photos on white it is just the back side of a pattern paper that I didn't think I would ever use this is pretty much how it's going to be laid out now underneath that photo is where I'm gonna put my journaling I still have not yet done it but I will right here I'm pulling out some of these blacks alphas these I had put in the kit and I'm calling this what is it and I go and lay this down and then I notice um, these pink fresh black stickers don't have a question mark so I have to go find a different font and black and it's kind of a bigger one but I'm gonna put it is it in big the big one right here I think those are called delight I picked those up from Tuesday morning I think I have like three packs of them now. I like them. They're kind of fat. I wish they were a little bit skinnier, but I like how short they are. Anyways, this thicker pack did have a question mark in it. So that is what I'm going to use. It just says, what is it? When we, when Bailey, or not Bailey, when Riley comes over, Bailey is just like, oh my gosh, if Riley cries, Bailey will bark at her. <laughs> He, she she just does not know what this little person is. She won't actually touch her. She just goes up. You can see in that one photo, she's just like sniffing her hand. She's like, I, she, she knows it's a little person, but she just does not know what to think about her. Right here is where I pull out the big shot and I'm going to go ahead and cut it up. What I do is I cut out some circles in the peach paper and then I cut out kind of like a little decorative doily type die in that lighter peach paper. I'm gonna layer them up on top of each other. You can see under that photo I had already put two down. I'm layering them up and then I'm gonna cut them in half and just put them along the bottom there like that sketch showed. I think it turns out really cute. I like how soft that is. I wished maybe I would have put those also maybe somewhere else on the page just to kind of tie it in maybe where that cluster is up at the top right on that uh, sketch maybe I could have tucked one in there but I didn't this sketch also if you look closely does call for a little bit of stenciling well I went ahead and finished the sketch and did not do any stenciling on it I did put some stuff to stencil in my kit but I have not pulled it out well after I finished this I went back and looked and I was like, oh, I didn't do any stenciling. So I did pull out some glitter glue and tried to put that through my stencil and it didn't work. So I ended up just taking my finger and rubbing it all on the page. So in the final photos, you'll see there's some like pink glitter smushed in those corners because 
it didn't hold a shape. I don't think I'd ever tried to do glitter glue through a stencil before. I know I had done it with the Nuvo drops and it worked okay. I hadn't tried it with the glitter glue, but I was like, what would happen? Well, now I know it, it didn't work too well. I did put this little die cut down there and I wanted to tie in a little bit more black. So this is a circle. I think there was a heart on it or something. It was a Felicity Jane circle. I went ahead and cut it in half. I put part of it underneath that um, flower vase and I'm also going to put the other half right there in the cluster I'm working on it right now. This is another die cut that I had done when I pulled out my Big Shot. I am going to use part of it right here and then the other part you saw I put at the top right. That's where that other little circle piece is going just to give me a little bit more black. Now I am going to take this label also with a little bit of black because I wanted the more of the black and I'm going to stamp the date on it and I mess it up. Of course I did. So I end up finding some stickers and I'm going to put them on top of it. It says, why hello, my dear. So I put the why hello on the label and then my dear on the um, photo. I think those were actually joined together. I think I cut them apart. I can't really recall right now. It was from a um, Maggie Holmes sticker sheet that I had thrown in this kit. I think I picked that up at Tuesday morning also. I have not really been going to Tuesday morning a whole lot, but I have been a couple times, so I have picked up some stuff. Now, I don't know if you saw this. When I was pulling out those flowers, I do pull out that sheet. When I prepped this kit, I went ahead and took all the die cuts and glued them with some removable adhesive just onto a piece of thick copy paper and that has worked really well for me because I can just take the sheets of paper out and just look at them. I don't have to rummage through all these loose die cuts in a bowl. That has worked out really great. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the cluster up there at the top right and I just used a couple flowers. I'm going to put a flower down there at the bottom underneath where my journaling is going to go as well. Right there I am putting down some of those gold dots. Those were just some gold, little gold dots I had gotten. They were a flourish I had gotten at Michael's. They were on clearance. It was part of the Hall uh, Halloween stuff they had out. I'm going to scatter those quite a bit around the page. I do have to go back with some liquid adhesive to put those down. Um, when I pull them off the plastic, <laughs> the glue stays behind. So. I do have to glue those down with some regular adhesive. There's where I put that other flower die cut. Now that my journaling is going to fill up that whole space. I am not sure at this point if I'm going to handwrite it or if I'm going to do strips. I haven't done strips in a while, but I feel like the past couple layouts I've done with my handwriting, I don't know. It's like my handwriting is regressing. It's getting worse and worse and worse. I don't know what it is. So I'm going to have to think on that. I have it usually I'll type up my journaling first and then if I'm going to handwrite it I'll just copy it onto the page. I haven't done that part yet. I do know I want to, what I want to talk about because like I said it's Bailey and she's like what what is this thing that you're bringing into the house? This thing is so weird. Why is it crying and making noise? It's crazy. All right guys after I do that I don't do anything else to this layout. Don't forget to go check out Tracy, Dolly, Kathy, it, Daisy and Jojo and also I'm going to link my blog if you want to pick up any of those sketches. I want to thank you so much for joining me. Please like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.